Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much uh, for the ones who are fathers. Um, I don't know if I should say congratulations or I'm sorry to hear that, but I really hope that you have had a nice day. <laughs> All right. So, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> let's get it started. Hoy vamos patar el pecho porque we have a lot to do. Okay. Now, what was yesterday's topic? Who remembers what was that topic covered? Expressing wishes. Expressing wishes. That's right. Um, give me examples, please. How do you uh, say? No, I'm the teacher. I can <laughs> say that. Okay. Go ahead. You tell me. Example? Uh-huh. Okay. I wish I... Okay, okay. I wish uh, my little son obeyed me. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's like, come here, man. I'm talking to you. It happens. It happens. That's a good example. Uh -huh. Give me two more examples. Good example, Romulo. Okay. I wish I didn't have class today. <laughs> hey, um, good. Yeah, I didn't say that, but you know, I'm the teacher. I can say that. So I'm glad you did. All right. Thank you for your responsibility and your honesty, Noemi. And the last example, please. If possible, with the verb to be. Just, just, just one, okay? Don't, you know, just one example. Hey, come on, give me one example. It's, it's been like 30 seconds already and everybody's quiet. I okay. wish uh -huh. I were playing uh, video games right now. There you go, if, Imer. If we haven't <laughs> classes. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't, don't remind me of that. I'm a human too. <laughs> okay, so that was yesterday's class, guys. I, I really wish that you can, I wish you were, not a bit, but you are. So I'm happy that now you know how to express <laughs> wishes. Now, today we have not a complicated topic, but you have to pay a little bit of attention so you can so you can work on it all right so it's gonna be this one give me a second oh by the way it's time for you to do the midterm how are you doing with the with the platform i doing good time. yes mm -hmm. i take a lot of exam or tests this uh -huh. day <laughs> okay Nice, nice, nice. Remember that, guys, that by now you should be in the midterm exam, at least. Okay? After each class, I would recommend you to do the knowledge check. And if it's possible, so you still have the information fresh, do it after the class. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the de de deadline, teacher? Mm, the deadline, I think, is going to be Sunday... Next week, not not this Sunday. Sunday next week, because our okay. last class is gonna be on Thursday. So like it's, it's necessary like, to catch up. Eh? Mm -hmm. It is necessary to catch up because you need to accomplish at least eighty percent, mm -hmm. okay. percent. So you okay. can actually uh, move to the next module. All right. Good. So after okay. this commercial, let's go ahead and work with today's objective. Go ahead and read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson, lesson objective. Uh -huh. lesson, lesson objective. objective. Lesson objective. That's right. Okay. So practice, um, practice asking and answering questions in English. Using the present perfect and simple past tenses. Using the present perfect and simple past tenses. In this lesson, English teacher. In this lesson, English teacher. It's actually Jose, but I don't know why they put Joe. But let's go with it. In this lesson, English teacher Jose Science explains when to use simple past versus the present perfect tense. 
English depending on the time frame of the action. Depending on the time on the time, time frame, frame right? for the action. On the action. On the time frame. Time frame. Time frame. Sorry. Time frame. Practice asking practice asking questions in the present perfect using practice asking questions in the present perfect using using. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? Ever? You ever? And describing your past experiences by responding in both. And describing your past experiences by responding in both. Both. Here, both. 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 Yeah. This one is a little bit important because if you say both con la T, puede ser, uh, por ejemplo, un bote. Right. Hey, get okay. on the boat. Get on the boat. Boat. Or vote, like in Spanish, votar. So we're going to say ending sound here, boat. 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 With boat. a TH sound. Boat. All right. Boat. Both. The present perfect and simple past. The present perfect, perfect and simple past. past. This lesson includes an English or a comprehension exercise. This, this lesson includes an English oral comprehension, comprehension exercise. Comprehension. 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 Comprehension exercise. All right, guys. I want to mention something to you. Before you watch the video, I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier. Um, present perfect is going to be used for you to talk about your experiences. El presente perfecto está hecho para que ustedes hablen de su experiencia. Cosas que han pasado. No nos importa cuándo. Tengan eso en mente cuando vean el video. ¿Ok? Se llama presente perfecto porque ahorita, en este momento en el que yo hablo, yo les digo, yo he viajado uh, un par de veces. Yo he viajado dos veces, I don't know, a Camboya. Right? Estoy hablando de la experiencia que he vivido. No interesa cuándo. Y el simple past, ahí sí usted puede decir, yo viajé a Camboya el año pasado. I traveled to Camboya last year. Keep it in mind. Present perfect, experiences, we don't talk about when. Simple past is a finished action in the past, and we can talk about when. All right? Pay attention to the video, please. Mute your mics. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. All right, before we continue, what did... Sh what what did he ask her? What was the first dish mentioned? What was the first platillo that mentioned? Uh, talking about uh, caracoles. Uh -huh, exactly, Snails. caracoles. Snails, right? Snails. Snails, how? Um, 
No? All right. With garlic. With garlic, that's right. Uh, yes, with Did she like him? Yes, she's. she's yeah. Said, yes, she, she, said, did. Yeah. And she did. And what about the guy? Does he want to try him? Fried brains. Uh huh. He was talking about fried brains, right? But mm -hmm. yeah. did he want to eat snail? No. No, he didn't. Exactly. Okay, great. Just want to make sure you're working on your listening skills. Let's continue with the video. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information. Because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom, it's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. So they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give a, either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, the third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. So let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? By the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? 
Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question either yes I have or no I haven't and then this next sentence we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement and the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past so in this case I'm going to say I tried them last month so this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. You want information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both, the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say, yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month oh sorry I ate sushi last month oh really and then whenever you start talking about that past experience the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past did you like did you like it and how would you respond to that well you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't, I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? 
Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Let's say that your answer is, yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it? So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. All right, guys. So after a while, now we are back here in the structure. Um, a couple of things. Uh, it has quick to do with this answer. And this is what we are going to use to practice. Because with this, you have to practice it. How do you ask? Alguna vez as? How do we ask that question? Have you, have you ever? Have, have you ever? Have you ever? Ahí está. Have you ever? Now, what is it? Uh -huh. Obviously, we can say has, has he ever, has she. Si estuviéramos ocupando he, she, or it, ocupáramos has. Third person, right? But here, have you ever. This is the one that we are going to keep. Acuérdense esa frase, have you ever. The verb in past participle and the complement. So, how do you say, um, I'm going to write it down in the chat below. ¿Alguna vez has manejado una moto? Have you ever driven a motorcycle? Ridden. Ridden. Ever driven a motorcycle? Motorcycle. Now, lo más difícil aquí es va a ser los verbos. Verbos. Oh, Ahí está. Driving. Para los verbos no hay otra cosa que aprendérselos. No hay ciencia. Lo pueden dividir, por ejemplo, pero eso creo que mejor se lo voy a mandar después. Por ejemplo, begin, begun, begun, drink, drunk, drunk. Tienen como la misma, la misma estructura. Pero de ahí en adelante se los tienen que memorizar. All right? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? What is the affirmative answer? Um, yes, I have. Well, yes, I have. No, I didn't. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And no, I haven't. No, I haven't, exactly. ¿Por qué? Let me give you a tip. Les preguntan con have, contestan con have. Les preguntan con el verbo to be, contesten con el verbo to be. Con did, contestan con did. Con do, contestan con do. Estas son las yes, no questions. Okay? Yes, no questions. So that's it. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Um, ¿Alguna vez han comido pupusas con mayonesa? How do you say that in English? Have you ever eaten pupusas with mayonnaise? Pupusas with, may with mayo or mayonnaise. And the answer is, Juan Miguel, yes, I have. No, I didn't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I will. I will never. <laughs> Ajá. Give it a try. Yo creo que si la gente se las come, no están tan mal. Okay. Yes, I have. Tan ricas. Yeah. Okay, good. So, this is pretty much. I don't think have so. Ever, I don't think. Have you ever, have you ever. Vamos a ocupar esta estructura, have you ever, para preguntar si lo hemos hecho. Eso es todo. Por el momento, así. Eso es, y no nos importa cuándo en la pregunta. After this, podemos hacer ya preguntas en pasado. Ustedes mismos pueden decir, I ate... This kind of pupusas. When I went to when I went to San Miguel last month. Did you say one example when has? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me just finish with this here. Okay. So. Again, guys, como les estaba mencionando en el principio, have you ever has hecho tal cosa? Y vamos a ocupar el simple past para mencionar cuándo, cómo fue y dar más detalles de eso. ¿Por qué? El simple past está usado para um, finished events, right? And we are allowed to use time expressions. And have, no. Okay? Now, I ate this kind of pupusas when I went to San Miguel. Y aquí viene siempre, después, simple past. Did you like them? ¿Te gustaron? 
Yes, I have or yes, I did? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Why? Because if they ask us with did, we answer with did. Yes, I did. Or no? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Or no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. So, no mezclemos. Nos preguntan con did, contestamos con did. Con have, con have. Now, someone asked me for one. Has your brother um, gone to Las Tunas? Has your brother gone to Las Tunas? So, lo único que cambia acá sería el has en vez del have. Eso es todo. Has um, Rodolfo, has Rodolfo drunk tequila? Uh, yes, yes, I have. Ah, okay. But... I have drunk tequila, drunk tequila last year. I have drunk. Ahí sería bien, eso me llega. Cuando vamos a contestar, ya decimos I drank tequila last year. ¿Por qué? Porque ya estamos diciendo drunk. cuando. I drank tequila last year. So, si queremos decir cuando y hablar de eso, simple past. All right? So, okay. has, Rod has Rodolfo drank tequila? Yes. What is the short answer? Yes, he has. Yes, yes he, he has. has. Or no? He he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. Okay. He hasn't. That's it. Bye, guys. Before we, we, I open up the break rooms, do you have any questions with the structure? No. Are you sure? No. So, one more time. El tip aquí les va. Have you ever? El verbo en pasado participio y su complemento. Luego respondemos, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Y empezamos con simple past. Did you like it? When did you go? What did you do? Simple past. All right? So, let's go ahead and accept the, um, the invite for the break room. I'm going to be visiting you. And I want you to try to talk as much as you can. All right? Okay. Accept the invite, please. We got four people per room. Hello, Tati, Omi, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hey, Omi, what's up? Did you get no the... Me... No te parece? Es que lo que pasa, se me cayó el internet y no me parece el break. El okay. break. Ahorita te ayudo. Por eso siempre trato de quedarme. Um, no yes. aceptes esta. Decime si te cayó. No. Bah, give me a sec. What about now? Eh, tampoco. Nada. Okay. Do me a favor. Log out and log back in. Te vuelve a entrar. Ah, log out and log ¿Cómo back in. Salite de, de la sesión y vuelve a entrar. Ok. Salite de, de la reunión y vuelve a entrar. Listo. Uh -huh. Ready, Omi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Omi? Hello. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I sent it to you. You got it? Thank you. Yes, of course. Okay. You're welcome, buddy. Enjoy your practice. To repeat that, have, have you ever driven a bus? A bus? Drive. Drive. No, 
Uh, Un chuzón. Um, <laughs> dreaming. No, I haven't. I dreaming haven't, but right I hope to, I hope uh, do, to do in, in the future. Future. In the future. In the future. That's good. In the future. Sorry. Don't be sorry, man. That's good. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sarah, Sara Castillo, you there? Well, Carla, have you ever um, eaten fish hamburger? How do you ever eat in hamburger? Fish hamburger. Oh, fish hamburger. Yes. Ah, okay. No, I haven't uh, because I don't like it. How do you know if you haven't tried it? Um. You don't like fish? I, no. Okay. No, now I don't I like understand. it. <laughs> oh, nice that's the way continue okay. make sure that you um, ask questions to each other right make him crazy but don't be so nosy right okay nosy okay. es como make it hay cosas que no se preguntan okay <laughs> okay <laughs> All right, continue okay um hey guys okay no i haven't but i i listen i i listen at radio and I like, and I, y me gusta, and I like. I like it. I like it, okay. Okay. Thank you. And, no, mm. thank you, you. And another, have you ever, Gabby, eating exotic food? Mm. No, I haven't. Kuzuko or where was the iguana? No, no. <laughs> iguana. I love the animals. Oh. I that. Okay. <laughs> no, no uh, okay. No, I haven't. So. No, I haven't. Okay. I don't believe you. Because nothing weird. <laughs> Bunny. I mean, rabbit, belly way, <laughs> nothing like that. No. no. I can't do that. Pato, cornices, no? No. Okay, I believe you now. <laughs> Continue. Um, next question okay. uh, is Luis. Yes. Uh, Laura, have you ever written a book? No, I haven't. Uh, I... ¿Cómo puedo decir? Realmente no me gusta escribir. I don't really like write. I don't really like to write. To write. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, that's right. Mm -hmm. Good. If you if you don't have enough <laughs> imagination, Google them. <laughs> Crazy, have you ever questions? Okay. You have no idea how many good classes I have had <laughs> with that search on Google. Crazy, have you ever questioned? All right, I'm gonna let you continue, but metale un poquito ahí, más de sazón. Okay. Okay. My chair. Okay. Broken. Have you ever broken a, a bone? Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Have you ever broken a bone? A bone. Bro. No, I haven't never broken. Ah, okay, good, good. There is going to be just, no, I haven't. Ah, okay. Hasta ahí. Y luego comenzamos otra oración. I have never broken a bone. Okay. No, I haven't, okay. period. I have never broken a bone. Okay. Um, Tatiana. Yes. Tatiana, uh, have you ever run uh, 
have you ever run at night? Mm, yes, I have. Okay. Okay. Now, simple past. When? Why? When did you run? Mm -hmm. That's right. I. ¿Cómo sería? En respuesta larga. I ran. I, I ran. No, no, no. Yeah. In, in the... mm -hmm. I run and in the complement you can say when. No, it's when. Uh -huh, exactly. For, for example, I ran two last weeks week. ago. Last or weekend. last week. Exactly. Last week. Week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, if, you, if your imagination is not <laughs> like, you know, creative, <laughs> go ahead and look for a have you ever questions. Crazy, have you ever questions on the internet? And bring them to the group. Pretty sure you're gonna find pretty funny questions and interesting. Okay. Now remember, whilst you guys look for it, have you ever asked hecho tal cosa? <coughs> yes, I have. No, I haven't. And then you say something else, like, have you ever eaten a uh, kusuko, which is armadillo? No, I haven't. Period. Aquí pueden ocupar el, el simple present ustedes quieren o nos mantenemos ahí. I have never eaten kusuko. That's a, a long sentence. I have never eaten. I have never. The verb in the past participle and the complement. Or if the answer is yes. Oh, yes, I have. I ate kusuko when I went to Nicaragua. It was delicious. Y ahí pueden empezar a... Hacer preguntas. Did you like it? Oh, no, I didn't because he siguen hablando. All right. Give it a try. Give it a try that way. Let me check the last group. Okay. Thank okay. You. You ever? Are you ever? Mount. Mount. Uh, leather. Leather. Egyptian. I don't understand men, men. Mountain, creo que sí. Men. And you spell that word. That word. Uh -huh. M E A M T. M. M. Uh -huh. E. A N T Mind. No, no, I don't understand. Mind. A uh, mind. 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 Uh -huh. What is the what is the yes, question? Yes, it's verbal. <laughs> what is the question actually? Yeah. Have you ever hmm? mind? Mm -hmm. Leather. Egipcian, Egipcian. Like, ¿Alguna vez eh, cuero egipcio? Uh, ¿Y cuál es letra, la acción? Let, letter. El verbo. Uh -huh. El verbo. <risa> ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es el verbo que quieres decir, Olga? Eh, en sí. español, está bien. Si alguna vez ha uh, sabido el significado. Ah, okay. De una letra egipcia. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> yeah, got it. No, y está bien, está siguiendo sí, la estructura. Sí, sí. Solo que hay algunas cositas, guys, que no es... Hay algunas excepciones, porque ahí meant uh -huh. es este, el de mean, right? De como de significado, pero no enteramente, o sea, no, no iría exactamente igual. Entonces, have mm. you ever known, de saber, have you ever no. known the meaning of Egyptian words, ah. for example, have you ever known? Just no, new, known. La tercera columna. Have you ever known Egyptian words? I haven't. 
Okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> See, now you can also find questions on the internet. Crazy, have you ever questions? And I'm pretty sure you're gonna, you might have fun with those. Now, remember to try and keep on talking. Have you ever eaten, um, I don't know, garrobo? No, I haven't. I have never done it. I don't like it. No me gusta. O sea, no solamente tienen que ocupar las dos estructuras. Or if you say yes, have you ever eaten garrobo? Yes, I have, period. I ate it two months ago when I went to Los Planes. They had this blah, blah, blah. And mm -hmm. someone else can ask, did you like it? No, I didn't. The taste is not good. And I didn't. And you continue talking. All right? Okay, teacher. You better try. You can do this thing. Yes, Benjamin. Okay. Well, Benjamin, are you asleep? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Have you ever? Mm, no. Ay, no. ¿Qué verbo pongo? Permítanme. Se me han ido los verbos. ¿Qué pasa? Learn, learn, <laughs> write, go, may, cooking. <laughs> Okay, have you ever done exercise at the park? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. In any park? Yes, I have. Okay. Wow. What is the park? Do you do you do you uh, to do uh, exercise? I went uh, last month uh, to the, uh, for example, Parque Los Pericos. <laughs> okay. okay, that's exactly. Ah, huh? that's exactly what I'm talking about. And you continue. Oh, really? Okay. Where is El Parque de Los Pericos? Oh, Parque de Los Pericos is blah blah blah. Good. It's near. Okay. Continue, guys. Let me check another group. Okay. okay. Go ahead, teacher. So far, so far away from the city. Yeah, two hours and a half, something like that. So far, so far. Uh, mm -hmm. And have you ever uh, taken a picture um, with, um, ¿cómo se dice? Con donde guardaban el dinero. Um, yes, I have the picture with the museum. Um, the museum, uh huh? Museum. Mm -hmm. ever, uh, the vault. Have you ever? Perhaps no, the vault. It's, uh, how do you say that in, in, in Colombian way? <laughs> in las, I don't Galeta. know the word, but it's funny. The word is funny. Galeta. Is that the word? Las caletas, las caletas. Uh, that's a that's a good question. That might be a Colombian word because, or I simply don't know the answer to that. Caleta. <laughs> I don't know the past perhaps. A hiding place. Un lugar para esconder las cosas. Hiding place. Hiding place. Mm -hmm. Hiding place. Uh -huh. All right, continue. Don't don't make this an excuse to stop. Keep on talking, guys. You got this. <laughs> okay. You're getting it. You're getting it. Um, um else have you ever taken a picture in the Hacienda Napoles Museum? Yeah. Uh, yes I have. Um with the um, how do you say letrero? Um, uh, signature? No. no, it's not a billboard. Billboard uh, is como un anuncio. The sign, perhaps. Okay, I have a main, sign. You, do you mean in the main entrance of the hacienda? Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Near the all those airplanes, I think it's the it's the yeah. That's entrance, that's one. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I have a question. <clears throat> I'm sorry. 
I guess that the main have you ever question was like, have you ever traveled or something like that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, because you already mentioned, yes, I, I, yes, I have. And then you go to the past tense. I traveled to Colombia or I went to Colombia. All of the following questions are going to be in the simple past. Why? Because if you say, have you ever taken a picture at Hacienda Lampolis? It's like one particular event. El punto es este. Después de que ustedes dicen que ya han vivido esa experiencia, como ustedes están preguntando por una experiencia en particular, ocupamos el simple past. Did you take a picture in Hacienda Napolis? For example. Did mm -hmm. you go to, I don't know, to the place, to X place? Did you go to the zoo? Did you eat and any traditional food? So after you have used, have you ever, if you're talking about a particular event, a particular trip, you start using the simple past. I don't know if I'm making myself understood. Yeah, yeah. Okay, give it another try before I check another group. Okay. 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 Your turn, Rodolfo. <laughs> ask, ask a question. Okay. Um, Sarita. Uh, did you ever go uh, to the... Have you? Have you? Tunko Remember Beach? using have. Have you, have you ever go to El Tunco Beach? Two things. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, say, I have. Did you say uh, Sara or Carla? Carlita. Oh, okay. I think Carla, Carlita. Carla is gone. Mm -hmm. I think she had a problem with her computer or something. No, but she's in another group right now. But yeah, have you ever, have you ever gone to El Tunco? Say with me, Rodolfo. Have you ever gone to El Tunco? Have you ever go to El Tunco? Gone. Esa es la tercera, ajá, la tercera casilla del verbo. Go, when, have you, gone. Have you ever, have you ever, when, go? Have you ever gone? Gone. Have you have have you ever go? gone? Gone. 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 Mm -hmm. Gone. Gone. El Tunco. Have you ever gone El Tunco? Gone to El Tunco. To El Tunco. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have, but I don't like too much because. Um, how? Many rocks. Yeah. <laughs> it has many yeah. rocks. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, okay. Um, my turn. David, yeah. have you have you ever been to um do you need to know exactly what is the past of the bear? Yes, yes, it is. yes, irregular or regular is, is, is the difficult use. But another structure for me, this topic is, is more clear or is, is clear. It's clearer. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the complicate is to remember all the paths of the verb. Okay, um, so guys, okay. we are about to go back. I wanted to please give me an example. I want to hear what you've done. Okay. The ladies, the ladies first. No. <laughs> <laughs> All of a okay. sudden. Uh -huh. uh, I will start with a okay. uh, uh, question for this. Um, okay. Have you ever found money in the street? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, one, I, I, I found twenty dollars one, one time. Once I no. found $20 once. Once. Uh, once. Okay. I found twenty dollars once. Great. All right, now, okay. Luis, ask a question to someone else. Um, okay, Caesar. Yes. Um, have you ever gone fishing? Yes, I have. I I went to the Acajutla uh, public uh, 
I don't know what is the name in English, but it's a uh, Puerto Público in Alcajutra. Yes, I have. I went to the Alcajutra port. Mm -hmm. I went to Alcajutra port. Okay, great, Z, sir. Now, okay. question to Laura, please. Okay, yes. Have Have you ever lost in another country? Mm. Have you ever gotten lost? Gotten. No, gotten lost. Lost no es un verbo, por eso no se puede conjugar. Okay. Have Have you ever gotten lost in another country? I have. I lost in what month? I got okay. lost. I, I got, got lost. lost in what month? Okay, me too. Yes, I have. I got lost. Okay. It happened. All right, nice. Laura, question to Gabby, please. Gabby, have you ever mm -hmm. made a cake? No, I I haven't. I can cook uh, <laughs> dessert. <laughs> dessert. Dessert. Nice. Okay. Mm. Great. So we're almost done. Just keep on chatting, guys. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, guys. So um, let's go ahead and double check what you've done. Emir, do me a favor. Yes. Ask ask someone a question, please. Uh, have you ever uh, to whom have you ha who's, who's gonna answer have you ever woken up uh, at 3 a.m ah who's uh, sarah okay it's a new you repeat please have you ever woken up at 3 a.m yes i have um, why? Um, because I have to prepare um, my shop for the color and I have to make the lunch, breakfast. And dinner, <laughs> everything. <Yeah. laughs> okay, nice, nice, Sarah. I like the structure, I like the idea. Just remember that it wouldn't, it won't be have. It's gonna be had. Okay. okay. Had. That's it. That's the only had. change. But it was a great answer. All right. Okay. Now, Sara, you ask something to Noemi. Noemi to Tatiana, and Tatiana to Imer. Okay. Uh, Tatiana, have you ever um, traveled to USA? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, for more night, <laughs> <No idea. laughs> yeah, I don't have the money. <clears throat> I don't have the money uh, because uh, because I, I I have a visa. I don't have the visa. Come repeat. I don't have. I I don't have the visa. Okay. Great. Okay. <laughs> nice, Tati. Tati to Noemi. Noemi, had you ever decorated to uh two rooms? Decorated. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I pin painted. 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 Mm -hmm. Flower, blue flowers. Oh, last, yeah. last month. Excellent. There you go. Great job. And now, Noemi, please ask something to Imer. Imer, have, have you ever paid traffic ticket? <laughs> yes, I have. I paid. Uh, Ticket uh, when I travel to other country. Ah. Okay, nice, excellent. When I travel to another country. To another country. Uh -huh. Okay. Another is going to be for singular, and other most of the times is for plural. Okay, thank All you. Right. Great guys, great job. Let's go back thank to the main you. room. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tisha.
Okay, so the rest of the people is going to come back soon. Alrighty, guys. So now that we are coming back, some of you gave me some, some examples, right? For the ones who gave me examples already, don't worry. But now I want the people who has not given me examples to do it, please. Los que ya me dieron ejemplos, no se preocupen. Los que no, give me some examples, please. Come on, don't be shy. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Me? Go ahead. Ask someone in your group, please. Okay. A question for my classmate on their uh, classroom. Have you ever risked your life for anyone? Okay, have you ever risked a little T at the end? Have you ever risked your life for any your for someone? Life. For someone, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank nice. you. Uh-huh. Who's gonna answer that question from his group? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. I, I tried to visit I tried to visit it uh, safe place. Okay, I try to visit safe places. Safe places. Okay. Good. So, guys, um, uh, if you are not from a place, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dangerous. It doesn't matter if it's in Soya, Tecla, Escalón. If you're not from from the place, if you're not a local, you might be getting in trouble. All right. So, guys, listen up. Number one, thank you very much for logging in. Uh, I know it was a holiday, so I appreciate your commitment. Good thing is that we are not going to log in on Friday, right? Now, okay. um, remember, present perfect, normally you use it for experience. You don't say when. You can say how many times. I have been there three times. He estado ahí tres veces. But you don't say when. No dices cuando. In the simple past, yes. You talk about when, what happened, etc. All right? So guys, I really hope that you have been able to practice. If you have any question, go ahead and ask. Don't be afraid of asking. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much. This is Alejandro Narbona. Get out of here. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye